from a single camera to five cameras all at the back, smartphone brands are now taking a big leap in mobile photography. Realme, a sub-brand of Oppo, has just recently launched its newest mid-range offering, the Realme 3. That is a good smartphone choice at a very affordable price. On the other hand, Mate 20 Pro was last year's flagship from the Chinese giant Huawei. Both phones have cons and pros when it comes to capturing special memories, but with technology advancing faster than before, of the budget phone segment reached the performance of recent flagship phones? Before we dive in and take a look at the camera comparison, let's unroll the camera spec sheets. Under broad daylight, the advanced HDR processing of Realme 3, aka Chroma Boost, aggressively sharpens and saturates the photo, while the Mate 20 Pro settles for a more balanced and natural looking photo. The same goes for this little Hulk shot but with better overall output on the Realme's camera. Even though it's on the saturated side, it managed to preserve highlights in the background and properly exposed subject, in which the Mate 20 Pro failed to do so except for its sharpness. In terms of landscape shots, it's the same saturated and sharpened results for the Realme 3, while the Mate 20 Pro has that closer to reality look. Moving into zooming capabilities, the Realme 3 has 2x digital zoom, while the Mate 20 Pro goes for 5x optical zoom via the dedicated 8 megapixel sensor. And for the results, it's surprisingly arguable. Starting with the Mate 20 Pro, it was able to naturally capture the cloudy look of the city with great detail. On the other end, the Realme 3, at best, managed to look decent but with the obvious watercolor effect on the trees. In closer subjects to capture, the Realme 3 looks insta-ready with its vibrant colors in the foreground. I mean, just look at that reflection. Although the Mate 20 Pro does the opposite, it leaves more room for post-process edits. Moving to low-light shots, the Mate 20 Pro is no doubt on the advantage. However, the chroma boost on the Realme 3 continues to impress as it brings colors to the subject. The full shot was surprisingly handled well by Realme 3's cameras by not blowing out the highlights as it tries to bring more light into the landscape. When given enough light source, the Realme 3 can handle itself just fine. So, where does that leave us? We can safely conclude that budget phones are able to match some of the camera performance and features of flagship phones from last year. And that's a one-year gap and a big price difference between the budget Realme 3 and the late 2018 Huawei Mate 20 Pro. So if you're really looking for a capable budget phone, we recommend to check out the Realme 3. It has solid specs for a very competitive price from 6,490 to 6,990 pesos. If you want to learn more about the device, you can check out our Realme 3 full review.